Recently, having a need for a high-velocity fan, I went looking to see what Rayobi had to offer. Learning that they had recently launched a new 18-volt hybrid air cannon, I chose to pick one up. Join me as we take a closer look at the fan and answer the common question, how long will a battery last? The main purpose for me to have purchased this fan was to move air through a server room. This room has a tendency to get very warm during the summer months, and what better way to help manage the temperature? While there is not much to say about any one fan, let's review some of the highlighted features. The 14-inch Air Cannon is part of the Whisper series of tools that Ryobi promotes for being more quiet compared to its counterparts. It's also a hybrid fan, so it allows users the choice to use AC power from the wall or one of their very common 18-volt Ryobi batteries. Not all manufacturers like to clearly state the volume of air that their fans can move, but to Ryobi's credit, that is clearly stated. Of the three available speed settings, the fan claims to move 1400, 1850, and 2300 CFMs. Now let's jump to assembly, which is very simple. Users will find that all they have to do is place the actual fan onto the provided base. Once locked in, you're good to go, and there is a convenient handle to move the unit around. The build quality is solid, using a combination of metal and plastic. So everything said so far is almost identical to any other fan on the market. So did the 14-inch fan do the job I had in mind? The short answer is kind of. So let's dive in a bit further. A big curiosity I had was power draw. Since the fan might be on 24-7, I knew from the start I wanted an, an efficient fan, one that would offer a minimum power draw, and recognizing the hybrid feature that Ryobi was offering, this fan was a contender. With a power meter, let's review the power draw for each fan setting. We'll start at the lowest setting and progressively work our way up. As setting 1, the fan only pulls 15 watts. Now that right there is impressive for a fan of this size. Moving on to stage 2, we have a bump to 25 watts. This is a 66% increase in power creating 32% more air movement. And finally, stage three pulls 55 watts, which is an additional 120% increase in electricity while providing 24% increase in air movement. While we could look at the numbers and speak negatively on the diminishing return on the power draw, let's just point out a simple fact. Users will be hard pressed to find any AC powered fan with this level of efficiency. Let me pause there though and note that the AC power cord that is provided is grossly small. Users do give up the convenience of using the readily available extension cord for Ryobi's power adapter. I expect this was necessary to achieve the efficiency, but the length that is provided is nothing but humorous. Moving on, Let's discuss battery runtime. If one chooses to use the fan with a Ryobi 18 volt battery, runtime will be influenced based on the number of amp hours. For demonstration purposes, I have chosen a four amp hour battery. Let's get this plugged in and see what we get. With the 4 amp hour battery, my experience led to 1 hour and 48 minutes, with the fan set to high. It's fair to say that the fan would operate for longer if placed on a lower setting. Is this good? 
bad. I'll let you decide. Again, for me, the option to use the battery was not much of a selling point. I've had the fan now for a bit of time and have formed this opinion. It's a fan. It's simple. It does everything it claims to do. The quality is good and the power draw of 15 watts on the low setting is impressive. However, the 18 volt 14 inch fan from Ryobi delivers horrible value. At a price of nearly $160, this fan is too expensive. Add in the cost of any battery and users will have over $200 invested to do the task of simply moving air. There are a gambit of fans under $100 that can do the job, many at $60. True, we give up the option of the battery and we do consume more energy, but we are also, in most cases, moving more air. I do want to note that the older model from Ryobi, their 18-inch hybrid air cannon, is currently priced at $119. This is a better deal, and I think Ryobi chose poorly in their decision to deliver a product that is slightly smaller, slightly less productive, while being slightly more efficient, leading to a much more expensive fan under their Whisper branding. That said, everything is more expensive today. Electronics, food, and even fertilizer. It's only a matter of time that we will see this trend in the tool industry. That's why I like to speak to value. Today, and in the days ahead, any time for that matter, we as consumers should be looking at a product's value, trying to balance our wants to our needs. In my case, I wanted to use less energy, but more importantly, I needed to move air. Noise volume was a mute point since this was placed in the server room. If budget is of no issue, then sure, let this fan be a consideration. If you want to save money and spend it elsewhere, then of course you have other options. Are you considering this fan? Perhaps you've already picked one up. In any case, share a comment below about the feature you like most about it. I hope this video provided some insight. A tap on the like button is always appreciated. If you want to show support for the channel, take a moment to subscribe. On behalf of Bailey and myself, thanks for watching.